What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So in the last video, I talked about T.T. Terry, and I talked about how T.T. is actually benefiting quite a bit from being on that relay team with Abby Steiner. T.T. Terry is a lot more known right now than she was just before last Saturday night when she ran in that relay. And she won the Ed Murphy Classic yesterday, so she's got some momentum. And I talked about how she potentially could be taking over Shikari Richardson's spot with the media. Now, Abby Stein has kind of already done that, but where TT is different is that she's going to reach a different audience, which is mainly black viewers. And that's the, you know, that was kind of like Shikari Richardson's audience was a lot of black audiences, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Abby's not really relatable to a lot of the black viewers. So where TT comes in at, she's going to be able to do that. So I made a whole video on that. But what I want to talk about is I had a poster uh, who made a very good post. And, and like I said, if you guys make really good posts in my comment section and you inspire me to do a video, I'm going to shout you out, man, because a lot of you guys are actually motivating me to make these different type of Abby Steiner videos. And, and that's why I say I can never run out of Abby Steiner content here in the off season, even though she's not even running, you know, because there's just so many things to talk about. And so my, one of the posters named Joe F sent something, uh, posted something seven hours ago when I read this, he said, yeah, I, I, I never would watch woman sprinter. If, uh, Abby Steiner was not there, but she has made more, made me recognize other runners. Steiner will bring endorsement money into the sports for all of the athletes. And where Joe is uh, definitely right on this is that, is, and it's something that I actually talked about before, how, and you guys definitely need to watch my um, Abby Steiner is the face of track and field video that I made uh, earlier this morning. Because where Abby benefit why is she so good for track and field and even for the jamaicans she's good for track and field because let's be honest with the jamaicans man as good as they are they didn't bring eyes like this into the sport you know what i'm saying like since usain bolt left we've had a little bit of a dry period where you know with track and field where you know we hadn't had that main athlete after usain bolt left the sport and we've had a bunch of different athletes, and obviously we've we've had Shelly Ann Frazier Price, we had Allison Felix, we had we had Sharika Jackson on the rise, we had Elaine Thompson Hurrah, you know stuff like that. And then we have these rising stars like Sydney McLaughlin, Athene Mo, and stuff like that. Fem K. Bow, Keely Hodgkinson, you know what I'm saying? And the sprinter scene, we had you know Jenna Prandini here and there, but we really hadn't had that top face that's drawn people into the sport, and so. I had, I've been on these boards since, even in the Olympic years, I've been on social media and I see the impact. This is a non-Olympic year. 2022 is a non-Olympic year. It is a world championship year, but it's not an Olympic year. So the attention on the sport isn't quite as where it will be in an Olympic year. And last year, the talk was Shakari Richardson. And then for a little bit during the Olympics, it was Gabby Thomas. But for the most part, the Jamaicans are really popular in their in their country. And, so, and, and with some people internationally, they follow the girls and they, and they bring some interest internationally. But not on the level that I've seen from the World Championships. There was something different about the World Championships this year. And I even noticed the Jamaican Nationals even had more attention on it because of one person, Abby Steiner. Jamaicans can't... They, it's a week later. They can't stop talking about Abby Steiner. She don't even run for their country. and They can't stop talking about Abby Steiner. And a lot of it got to do with the hype. Even the hype that Shikari Richardson had last year isn't even close to the hype that Abby Steiner has right now. Like, people are still, like, Abby Steiner hasn't raced since last Sunday. She's still talked about. It's been almost eight days later. She's still talked about. Right? She didn't even run in the Ed Murphy Classic. But yet, we're still hearing her name. <laughs> right she's going to be talked about all the way through next season man because she's that special of a prospect and she brings in a different type of audience and that's why i said she is the 
face of women's track and field, U.S. track and field going forward, and really the entire female side of the sport because she's got the marketability down. That's why Puma paid her that money. A lot of it had to do with the marketability side. As great as Sydney McLaughlin is and the thing Mo is, they're not as marketable as Abby Steiner. She doesn't bring, they don't bring that kind of audience in that's different from the one that they have out there right now. And that's what people need to understand. Okay. So going back to Joe's comment, he's he's saying how everyone else, Joe is telling you in his comment, and this is a representation of probably all of the new track and field fans over the past month or track and field fans that have returned to the sport after a while, maybe since the Usain Bolt days, maybe even before then. Abby Steiner is making people learn about the other sprinters. It is good for that. And I want to talk real quick about how that elevates someone like a Cindy McLaughlin. Now, Cindy McLaughlin, she's raised her own profile, but I don't feel like her popularity is there just yet. I feel like she's still growing with her name brand. She's not there just yet. Sydney McLaughlin with Abby Steiner in the sport is going to make Sydney McLaughlin not only more popular, but it's going to make her more money because just having Abby Steiner there, it gets more eyes that weren't in there on Sydney McLaughlin for, before and weren't going to be there without Abby Steiner there now, there, um, there right now. Sydney McLaughlin being in that 4 by 400 race was probably no, more noticed in that race than her world record that she broke in the 400 meter hurdles last Friday night. No joke. No joke. And she's been setting records over there. But I feel like she's been more talked about because of what she did in the relay than what she did in that. And now people have uh, have been able to go back and see what she did in the 400 meter hurdles and was like, damn, she did all that. Sydney McLaughlin's popularity will go to another level because of Abby Steiner. Same thing with the thing Mo. So if Abby Steiner does join the 400 meter flat, that is going to help out Sydney McLaughlin and the thing Mo. If both of those girls are in there, the profile of everyone that's around her or competing against Abby Steiner goes all the way up. All the way up. It's all the way up. <laughs> it's going to bring that profile all the way up for everybody. Everybody's going to eat. Look at Tanisha Terry. Look at Jenna Prandini last week. I hadn't heard people talk about Jenna Prandini that much since she came in the track and field in 2015. I mean, came into the pro scene coming out of Oregon. I mean, Melissa Jefferson's been talked about. Uh, Talitha Diggs. You know, uh, who, who's the other one? Talitha Diggs and uh, Brittany Wilson. Brittany Wilson has got some attention because she put her hand over her heart during the national anthem. And it's got people wanting to follow her now. Abby Steiner's going to have that kind of an impact on the entire sport. And don't let Matthew Bowling come in because if Matthew Bowling comes in, it's a wrap. Because he's going to elevate the men's side. Because I feel like the females right now are ahead of the men right now as far as popularity goes. I feel that way. I think ever since Usain Bolt left, they've been struggling on the men's side. They've been struggling a little bit. The females is all people want to talk about when it comes to track and field right now. But I feel like a Matthew Bolin could elevate that. An Aaron Knight could elevate that. You know what I'm saying? Special athletes like that on the male side. This is no joke, guys. This is no joke. Abby Steiner is lifting everybody up. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's what Abby is going to do for the sport, and it's great for the sport. It's great for the sport right now. It's great for the sport. Uh, just having Abby around, man, it's, it's going to be great. And you guys are going to see that. It's going to elevate everybody. Everybody who hasn't had that recognition before, they're going to get it now just because she's in the sport. And it's not over yet. She's got to do her job, too. She's got to be great. Like, she's got to be... She don't got to be the best, but she's got to at least be someone who wins a few races here and there, uh, gets on the podium quite a bit, and, uh, you know, just be successful. She's got to be successful in order for people to really continue to care about her, though. Uh, and uh, and I, I'm not even worried about that with, with, with Abby because she's got that kind of talent and she's focused. She doesn't like to lose, and that's going to help her. I'm going to make a video about her competitiveness as well. 
Um, that's that's another video that's coming out. But I definitely wanted to make this video because I think Joe F was 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 so right on that, so right on that. He he did not miss the mark on his comments right there. Um, and like I said, I know a lot of people like to give criticism about the Abby Steiner hype and why why we continue to hype her up and oh let her do her thing next year or whatever. Like, like we could talk about her. It's my channel anyways. I can do whatever the hell I want with my channel. I'm gonna talk about her every day. I can do that. People are watching, so why not? You know, people are watching the video, so why not? You know, and people have told me they 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 love my channel and and they love hearing what I got to say. You know what I mean? And, and part of YouTube is to be consistent. So that's what I want to be on the channel is be consistent. You know, and uh, you know, pretty you know, hopefully sometime maybe going into the next season, I'll probably split this channel up and I'll make a whole separate track and field channel next year. But uh. Because I cover a lot of things on this channel that you might not be interested in. So we'll probably do that in the future. But uh, go on ahead and give this video a like, though. Hit that like button for me. Definitely hit that like button as I come on in here. Uh, or as y'all leave the video, by the way, because it's about to end. Uh, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Especially if you're new into the zoo. If you got any comments about this, you object to it, you agree with it, it doesn't matter. You're allowed to post here. Just don't be rude. Uh, I've only had to block like one person last past couple of weeks, so y'all could tell my the, my tolerance level is very strong. <laughs> Cause I, I've let some of y'all who shouldn't even really be here still be able to post, and y'all know who y'all are. Um, but if you get out of pocket though, you will be blocked. Uh, like I said, I only block people when they make it personal. But uh, anyways, uh, and then also if you want to donate to the channel. Hit that super thanks button below, and I'm much appreciated. So, what do we have on tap? We got some Matthew Bowling videos, too, this week. So, y'all got that to look forward to. Uh, like I said, Abby Steiner competitiveness. And we're going to continue to touch on these topics that we recently just touched on. I'm going to get into them a even more than what I did right now. Uh, going to get back into what, you know, some of the things that Abby Steiner is going to be doing for next season and all that other stuff. We got a lot to talk about when it comes to Abby Steiner. A lot to talk about. I haven't even... I haven't even brushed off even what I even plan on talking about. I haven't even hit the surface of what I plan on talking about. We're still fresh off the relays from last week, so we're still kind of talking about that. And I got another, I actually got another video talking about the relays as well. Um, I got my TT Terry video and also another video that I got coming up. I'm a, I need to start working on my hype videos for next season. I need to start getting those hype videos in. That's something that's going to be coming out. I only got two of them. If you guys haven't checked out the Beautiful Woman one and the Butterflies one, go on my channel and watch those two. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, uh, definitely go on ahead and check those out. But thank you guys for watching. After News Delight.